Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today, I am going to get your game fixed, and you're going to be thanking me. Dev Air 657, 611, 557, all the dev errors, all the crashes, whatever you've got going on with Warzone, we're going to get it nice and stable. As usual, no BS, no fluff. Let's go. All right, let's get right into it. Not going to waste any of your time. So the, the you have to understand how this game works. First of all, um, it, it, it the old Warzone had a memory bleed issue and a lot of other problems. It would also not utilize your CPU correctly and different things like that. So let's talk a little bit about your system first. Now, these fixes are all, of course, going to be if your system is healthy and stable. You need to make sure your actual hard drive and your system is, is healthy and stable. Um, I recommend programs like HD Sentinel. Okay, so this is an awesome program that'll take different... Uh, um, data from your drives, the smart data, uh, the wear indicators, and it'll give you like an overall health performance indicator or percentage for your hard drives. So you can see a lot of mine are on 98, 100, and my main drive I use a lot for gaming is like down to like 93. Kind of gives you some different information on, you know, how long it's been up, how long it's been running, and about an estimated, um, you know, time of how long the drive will still last. You can do different tests. Um, you can also run scan repairs on your PC through uh, the, the command prompt and things like that. So make sure your system's healthy. Make sure you don't have any bad Bad RAM or bad hard drives or anything like that. Don't ever, uh, you know, just make sure you rule that out. After you do that, obviously make sure all your Windows updates are, are updated, your graphics drivers are up to date in NVIDIA GeForce or, or etc. Um, I actually have a pending update right now for uh, my graphics card. Um, so make sure you download and updates and check for your drivers here and everything like that. Um, also, back in the day, just since we're in here, the uh, in-game overlay also used to have issues uh, with the game and with Warzone. I haven't seen major issues with this in Warzone 2, but you might want to disable your NVIDIA GeForce overlay or any AMD ATI uh, overlays. Get rid of those. Make sure your drivers are up to date. Make sure Windows is up to date and you're good to go. Um, another thing you might want to look at while you're you're making sure your system's healthy, you know, you want to start from the, the simple things and check, check those first, like what's in your startup stuff. Um, I have a lot of these disabled. I only have what I use enabled like for my antivirus or my headset. Um, different things like that, my Razer software for my keyboard and mouse. Other than that, I'm not running anything else in the background uh, at all. I'm not even usually running hard disk Sentinel only when I check on my drive. So I'm making sure everything's very, very minimalistic there. So once you make sure that's all set, um, then you can go into something you got you want you got to see how the game's actually structured so if you go into this gear icon and you open up your battle net you click on warzone you go over here to this gear icon you go to uh show and explore and what you can do here is it'll show you where the files are installed locally on whatever drive you have it on and just like the last game um it utilizes your cores um and when it's playing the game if you don't know how many cores you have on your cpu you can always right click on your taskbar go to task manager go to performance and then down here it'll show you your cores and your logical process Logical processors is the dual process tech where it's it's those are virtual processors, but the physical physical cores I'm rocking are 12 right now. Now, how many of those cores is the game actually utilizing? And that's what you also need to check. Um, also check to see how much memory you have and what speed it's running at. You can check that all right from within Windows. So I have 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, total 25 available uh, right now. That's not being utilized, and we're at 32 megahertz speed now. The game is very, very memory specific, um, and it's very, very picky, just like the old one. Uh, Warzone 2 definitely seems a, a bit more stable, but a lot of PC users are still having errors. Now, I would recommend trying different memory speeds by manually setting those in the BIOS. Um, if you're, if if you've tried everything else, and but. Uh, Usually around 3000 or 3200 is is a really good speed um, and I manually set those speeds I don't use Intel XMP profiles or any type of overclocked performance profiles in the BIOS I manually set the timing um, because I have not had good experience with XMP profiles depending on the memory type if they're XMP certified, different things like that. So really the basis of your system has a lot to do with if Warzone's gonna run right or not, because they really did not code this game or optimize this game once again, even in Warzone 2 uh, for the PC users. So we've gotta do this little bit of extra work to actually get these crashes to stop and make sure things are operating uh, optimal level. So back to 
showing an explorer where the re where these where these are now that you know how many cores you have you know how much memory you have you know your drives healthy your 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 gpu drivers are up to date windows is up to date if you go into the retail folder um they have these different sections in here um diff all the different core files um so on this one uh if you go to properties here it's a 330 it's like 323 megabyte file what you actually want to do um is go to compatibility and you can run this as administrator and see if that works for you for some users it's working for some it's not uh, and you want to click apply um, I actually have it off right now and I'm not getting any dev errors but this has fixed a lot of issues for a lot, uh, other users um, and running as admin allows the program to access and, and use all the features that it needs within Windows and have access to those files so sometimes it can be as simple as that one of the other locations I, I want to show you is actually in your documents folder. I have like a Windows 7 skin. This is Windows 10. Don't get confused with that. But uh, in documents, if you go to Call of Duty, there's a players folder. And in COD 22, they've moved it around, but and actually not COD 22, apologies. In this config 22, this options three COD 22 config file, if you open that up with notepad, um, this is actually all the settings for all of the modes. Um, it actually doesn't use separate launchers for the different modes. You can actually swap between these modes without exiting the game and going back in. You know, Black Ops Cold War, Vanguard, they had different operating uh, or different um, uh, systems that they were running the game through, and they would actually close and relaunch and launch a new um, system uh, application to run it. But these are actually BR, uh, DMZ, multiplayer, single player. They're, they all have this zero in it, which may seem confusing, but the zero is just pointing back to these options three COD 22, and you may have a different number. Uh, but if you open this, this is actually the settings for all of those modes and all of those games modes. The ones we really want to focus on are down here at the bottom. Um, and again, with Warzone, uh, and Modern Warfare 2, all of them, um, and Warzone 1, etc., this game works off a similar system where it is utilizing your render worker count. Your render worker count here is actually how many cores it's using. Um, and so this can get set wrong quite uh, easily. It did in the old one. I actually had to I had to update mine. And so if you click on CPU here, you see that I have 12 cores and I want to make sure this matches. Now, sometimes depending on your CPU, um, Intel, AMD, etc., you can lower this to 6, to 8, to 12, to 3. You could try different cores and see if you get different performance and or stability through just changing how many cores it's actually using while trying to run the game. This is this is a big one. This is a really big one that I always point to because it's on all the Call of Duties and it all matters. Now, one of the other things is once your memory is stable and your video memory and all that and your graphics driver up to date, your system stable, uh, this is a, a, uh, a target uh, of the percentage of memory, video memory, it's trying to use in the game. Now, this can, uh, it's at 85%, essentially, is what this 85 means. Now, you can change this to 0 0.55, 0 0.65, 0 0.75, and also see if you get more system stability from your video memory, as well as your, your central processing unit, your CPU, by manipulating these numbers. Um, my recommended is 0 0.55 to 0 0.85 here, and my recommended here is 3, uh, 4, 6, eight or 12, depending on your CPU. Um, you can go all the way from negative one to 16, but so I'm on 12 right now having really good luck with this. And what you want to do is click file, save and close that. Make sure that's set and that's there. Make sure everything looks good there. Uh, then you can simply close it out and launch the game. All right, now you can see that we're inside the game and everything is running awesome. It's running great, smooth, no crashes, anything like that. So one of the other settings I've seen that was crashing uh, the system for people was under quality and it's the on-demand texture streaming right here so on-demand texture streaming i don't use this at all um a lot of people are using it and also getting dev errors and crashes so i've actually just turned that off and i don't i don't run it on haven't had any crashes so this is also another big one that's helped me in warzone 2 and modern warfare 2 is not even running the on-demand texture streaming I hope this video helped you out get some more stability out of Warzone 2. I'm going to be doing a video, uh, my next video on the FPS boosting and really getting you the most FPS uh, I can absolutely get with the, without sacrificing too much uh, quality and getting that good performance range for you and giving you my tips and tricks on that. I'm Draco Ray. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.